if immigrant kids have a problem, the nation has a problem. The nation has a serious problem if there are problems with immigrant kids. So let's talk about their educational attainment. Um, this compares uh, uh, first generation and second generation immigrant uh, uh, with native born uh, for less than high school, high school, bachelor's degree, and then the last slide, <coughs> the last uh, segment is just uh, for Hispanics. So what you can see here, it's kind of interesting, it's a little complex, but the big problem is, the one, one of the two big problems I would say, is that less than high school, uh, immigrants are really overrepresented, especially first generation immigrants. They do not complete high school, so they're undereducated. There's very interesting data from the Census Bureau on their wages that follows the same trend, that the wages of first generation and second generation immigrants have been declining since 1940, according to, uh, according to Borjas, who has a chapter in this volume. Uh, so this is a serious problem, that we have a group of Im immigrant children that are seriously deprived because they have so little education. Uh, and as Marta made the point, this has uh, real implications for the American economy, and not least uh, for the trust funds of Social Security and, and uh, Medicare. If you look at bachelor's degree, it's kind of interesting. We do see a very high percentage of uh, first and second generation immigrants who have a bachelor's degree. And what this suggests, so this is the complexity I was referring to, is that our population of immigrants is really somewhat bimodal. So we have a lot of highly educated, highly qualified immigrants uh, and they do very well in the United States. And in fact, on average, many of them uh, as a group do better than, uh, than white people with white European backgrounds. Uh, so it, it is somewhat of a complex problem, but the most important fact, at least for my thinking, is the high percentage that don't even complete high school. That's a real problem. And if you look at the bachelor's degrees for Hispanics only, you narrow down another step. It isn't just a segment of immigrants, but it tends to be Hispanic immigrants and, and especially of the Hispanics, especially immigrants from Mexico, who have the worst education. They are starting to catch up, but they're still far behind. And if you look at the bachelor's degree for Hispanics, you can, and compare those with the bachelor's degree in the previous set of bar graphs, you can see that Hispanics really uh, have a difficult time with achieving a post-secondary education. All the more reason for our focus on, uh, on, the, um, uh, on the DREAM Act. 